Right up for sale and for demo today, we have a really amazing guitar from a master builder at the Fender Custom Shop. The official title of the guitar is a Reverse Proto Stratocaster. Uh, the short story is in 1979, Fender wanted to make a Hendrix-inspired Stratocaster with a reverse headstock. They made some prototypes, not very many. Uh, John Mayer owns one, and in 2005, uh, the Fender Custom Shop reissued a very limited number reissuing these prototypes and that's what this is it's a hendrix inspired a reverse proto stratocaster i'm going to tell you more about that in a minute let's get right down uh, to playing this thing here we go <laughs> details here and we'll get to playing in just a little bit if you want to skip ahead just fast forward the video get right to playing all right so again I've had people already I've posted this on my social media accounts and everything and immediately people say oh what a terrible Hendrix reissue it's not even right it just has the reverse headstock and none of the other stuff is correct that's silly Fender just wants to make money blah 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 okay yeah all fair points this is not a start from scratch attempt at a reissue of Jimmy's Woodstock Strat, the 69, 68 Strat with the maple cap neck and all that stuff. It's not what this is. It's not what they're trying to do with it, okay? If you want that, Fender's done that, and you can find those things. This is a very unique and interesting model reissuing a very, very rare prototype guitar in from about 1979. But again, let's be clear. There was in 1979, a prototype of a kind of Hendrix inspired Strat that was an attempt to kind of emulate the style and look of Jimmy's. Back then, it wasn't about being having everything exactly vintage correct. They hadn't even done the Fullerton reissues yet, which didn't come out until 82. So this is all still in its infancy. They made a handful of these, which made, their, made its way in the hands of some famous players. Stevie Ray Vaughan reportedly owned one, and other people had them, but they never went into production. So this is kind of like a guitar nerd... Uh, collector nerd type instrument where it's like wow this is a really rare prototype guitar man I'd love to have one in my collection but there just aren't enough to go around well because of that Fender and for other reasons the Fender Custom Shop reissued it so this is not a direct attempt to reissue a 1969 Olympic white Strat it is an attempt to reissue the prototype from 1979 of the Hendrix inspired Strat now I hope that's clear so uh, what kind of features does it have well, obviously it has the reverse headstock, which in, is Jimmy inspired, which is actually an important part, subtle part, but important part of Jimmy's sound. Essentially, because the strings are reversed, uh, the low E becomes the longest string, and the high E becomes the shortest string, which does affect the string tension and how you can play and uh, bend the strings and whatnot. Of course, it doesn't have the flipped around bridge pickup, uh, and that's just not something they had thought about at the time. So it's basically a right-handed guitar that's been flipped around uh, with a left-handed neck. Uh, and that's, again, how it was in the original ones. It also has a, pl a plastic little buffer thingy under the neck plate with the F. Uh, custom shop pickups in there. I think they're specially made for this guitar. It's got a 70s-style bridge uh, saddles, which is uh, what you would find on an original example. Um, I think the originals, uh, the prototypes, may have had flat pull peeps pickups, and these have staggered, but I'm not 100% sure because I've never had one, never seen one. Uh, I've seen pictures of it. So uh, it's master built, and I think it's uh, Dennis Galuska, I think is how you pronounce his name. I always get tripped up by it. Uh, one of uh, the long standing uh, master builders there, and I believe these were limited to about 100 examples. It does come with a bunch of the original paperwork, including this, the COA. This is number, uh, uh, at one six is the last two digits uh, of the serial number, and of course it's all matching. You can see photos in the listing, which give you pictures of everything. 
uh, condition wise you know it's 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 pretty much as it came originally i purchased it from a gentleman who was a collector you know he may have played this and handled this a few times but it's a closet classic finish so you're going to see uh, finish checking throughout which is normal uh, there's a little bit of simulated wear right along the edges of the neck by the fingerboard that looks old to be factory now there's really no fret wear on it um, and there's really nothing else to mention that I can see and uh, any other cosmetic imperfections are highly incidental and yeah there's really not anything there uh, it's got a, a 70s style u-shaped neck so it's a beefy neck it's a nice fat uh, fat neck very comfortable in the hands great shoulders fret work fit and finish just like you'd expect from a master built guitar is absolutely fantastic let's go ahead and listen to this guy a little more because that's the point of the video and we'll play what we have to play more Jimi hendrix <laughs> say about it. it's got a five-way switch which I believe is stock from the factory uh, as it would have been at this time period um, otherwise the guitar is original and in great condition so again it's a master built reverse proto Stratocaster a Jimi Hendrix uh, reissue so to speak never went into production in the late 70s really cool um, fantastic remake of that from a Fender Master Builder Again, this one was modeled after the one owned by John Mayer, and I believe there's some videos out there that you can find, you can look up, that have him tell the story of the guitar and kind of his partnership with Fender, uh, in participation with Fender in making the instrument. So go ahead, check out the listing and all the details. That gives you a little taste of the uh, sounds and an in-hand description. Hopefully it helps you as you think about buying it. 